What up, Average Joe? Sick License here, bringing another gameplay. As you can see, I'm playing Hardpoint on Riot. And basically, this is going to be a long gameplay. It's about 9 minutes, 40 seconds long. And there's a nice little two piece to open up, juggling the hill. And basically, I cut it down. As you can see, it jumps pretty sporadically. Just try to lower the gameplay altogether. I think it was a total of like 10 minutes or something like that. I'm not for sure. Uh, you know, it it was pretty long gameplay. I was playing with four of my friends, four or five, and one of them backed out about halfway through. And you know, basically, I carried my team like in the first three hill rotations. So I think it's about a two minute, three minute, maybe three minute. Uh, you know, time in the game, I pretty much had 13 kills, six deaths, and everybody else was still at six. You know, I opened up the game real good, uh, just catching them on rotations. And but fortunately, my teammates weren't rotating. I was pretty much having to try to fight and battle and break kills by myself. Um, you know, it wasn't really too much. You know, AY I could do really. I still ended up dropping 57 kills. I died 28 times, so not too bad. Almost 2.0. Uh, KD, you know, but what I really made this video to talk about is my clan, SLS, or, you know, it was Sick License Gaming, now it's Sick License Subs. The reason I'm talking about the gameplay, the game, the clan is basically, you know, I made this for my subs to be able to get on, you know, my YouTube subs, because I don't have any Twitch yet, I don't have any, you know, I don't haven't really got the computer up and going. But for my YouTube subs to kind of, you know, be able to play with the person they're subscribed to. You know, Twitch does the same thing. with, And, you know, most streamers do Subscriber Sunday. Well, I'm doing a clan. I'm not really looking, you know, to compete in clan wars that much. I'm just, you know, looking to have a good time. I mean, if we compete in clan wars, we compete in clan wars. You know, that's how I look at it. Um, you know, I'm not really going to say we got to be number one. We got to be platinum. You know, no. Diamond, no. I don't Whatever we get, whatever we get. As long as we have fun, enjoy the game. And, you know, that's what this, this clan's going to be about, you know. Right now, it's just got two people, me and my buddy Coldwind, which you'll see a lot of in my gameplays. Because me and him, most of the time, you know, we party up, we play, we enjoy playing with each other. And we've been playing, the, you know, the Call of Duty series for a long time. Just us two, you know, we've been in and out of several clans together. And, you know... We just communicate well, you know, when you got a good friend that you play with, you know, you play with him. And he's one of them, so, you know, he's the only other member I have besides myself. And basically, you know, we don't, we, I mean, we're competitive guys, don't get us wrong. You know, we enjoy, you know, being competitive and trying to win every single match. But we know, you know, you can't do it every single time. So, you know, basically, you know, we're just kind of having fun with this and, you know, trying to do our best and it's a way for me to reach out to my subscribers play with them get to know them you know as a fan base and you know have a good time with each other now on to the second subject of this video which is basically you know the patch you know as we know the patch the first patch kind of fixed connections and kind of you know did something with the you know shit, uh, the bar <laughs> the connection bar here we go and my mind went blank for a little bit but as far as I know for the new patch, uh, from what I've seen is they're going to fix a lot of spawns on the maps, on every single map. They're fixing a lot of glitch spots, you know, as like uh, Horizon, you got that elevator in the back behind C that people crawl into and all that. Uh, you know, that's pretty much all that. And uh, sorry to get off target, but I think this hill that I'm playing at right now, this one, I don't know what you would call it. I call it like a... Uh, the garage is what I call it. It's uh, to me, it's one of the hardest hills to break. So basically, whenever I get on this, I try to contest it as much as possible. And, and you see, I try to I try to break it a few times, but just them being down there in the bottom, it's just really, really difficult to break the spawn. And sorry about that, Mike died. It's just hard to break that hard point altogether. So basically, you know, I just sit here and contest the best I can. And, you know, pick up the kills on the stairs best I can. I mean, with this hill, I think it's more just a contestion hill. There's not really a way to really knock them out of that bottom for real unless you kill them from the bottom. And it's just hard to do unless you got that spawn. So, you know, I just kind of just contest the best I can. But, you know, I, you know, it's, it's a good map. It's good gameplay. 
and stuff like that. But getting back to, you know, the the patch, you know, the bow's going to be nerfed. I know that for sure. I've seen it. You know, you've seen it on 360. 360 and BS3 has already went through. Uh, I haven't really, I don't got advanced word for, for my 360. I just got the older Call of Duties. But, you know, as far as I can see, the patch is pretty much the same. As the Xbox One, you know, you're gonna get, you know, see the bow nerf, so it's gonna get into, you know, more recap, re, uh, recoil, because before the patch on the Xbox One or the PS4, you know, you could just sit there aim at a target and it wouldn't bounce at all, and you know, if you control your, you know, recoil, well now it's on, it's gonna have a lot of recoil. You're not gonna see as many shots hitting, and you know, you almost have to burst fire, it, almost like you should have to. Because the fire rate's just a little too fast for AR, it seems like. It's it's almost like a sub... It, to me, it's the peacekeeper of Black Ops 2. That's what it seems like to me. I mean, I hate to compare that to previous games, but that's what it was it, to me. Like, it had that fast fire rate and the solid recoil. So, you know, with the nerf, the patch going through, I don't know if it's going to be before MLG Columbus, you know, because I am a big MLG, you know, fan. But, you know, a lot of boys in green, the green wall, you know, I support them. Uh, you know, this, I don't, I mean, maybe once the gun, you know, it's nerfed and the recoils increase, yeah, I could, I could see a lot more people switching back to the AK, because the AK is just such a balanced weapon, you know, it's the second really balanced weapon, it's just got a little slower rate of fire, to me, the AK on this game shoots like the Remington, it's, it's, it's slow, but it hits good, you know, the, you know, the hit detection is real good on it, and basically, you know, if I'm not using bow, I'm using AK, and I enjoy I enjoy the AK. To me, it's it's a comfort gun. You know, if if I'm gonna set up and you know kind of just hold down areas, yeah, I'm gonna use the AK. Bow, I can do the same thing with, but the bow's more of a comfort thing. You know, I got on the game, started real early, just pulling kids with the bow, and then, you know, it's it's my go-to gun if I had to. Now with the nerf going on, I probably will not. I'll touch the bow. Don't get me wrong. I'll finish getting it diamond. I just need strafes, kills. That's it. And I'll have the concrete camo and the diamond but as far as the patch like i said it's gonna fix a lot of spawns from what i saw um in the patch notes it's a lot of glitch spots fixed and a lot of spawns fixed so you know you're not gonna see as much i guess you can call it random spawns to me they're not really random it's just when your people are not blocking spawns you know like like black ops 2 if you're playing hardpoint you want to anchor I think it's going to make it more where, like, if you want to spawn, you need an anchor. And I'm not going to say all of it, you know, not every game mode is going to need an anchor. Just hard point, domination, something, you know, that's going to keep you on that, that kind of style of flag or whichever flag you want to be on. It, you know, that's that's what it's going to seem like to me. You know, I may be wrong, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a wizard. I'm not the person who builds these games. I just play them and try to make good content for you all. But, you know... As you can see, I'm trying to push stuff and try to put, you know, mark, you know, push people out of these these things. But this game should be coming up to an end here in a little bit. Uh, I think we got one more hill rotation. That's it, and that's that one garage that I can never break. And as you can see, we're down 20 something points, and we're actually gaining it back here a little bit. But the problem is, is you know, that next hill, I just, I, I can't, I haven't figured out how to break it yet. And, you know, I've tried watching people and seeing how they break it. I just, I don't know. I mean, as you see, none of my teammates are even close on the rotation. Uh, you know, and we had to stay in there for extra scrap time to even make it close. But due to the fact none of my teammates rotated, you know, it made it really difficult. And as you can see, you know, I'm trying to kill people on the cuts here so that my teammates can get in there and, like, no one goes for it. So basically, I just sit here and contest it and, you know, kind of, just hold them where they're at and make sure their damage don't get any worse. But like you know, these are two top kits I went over in my video because I you know I know it's what everybody's wanting to hear and everybody wanting to talk about here lately. So basically, this game's coming to an end. I hope you all enjoy it. Please comment, like, subscribe, and peace.